was your relationship with the show, personal relationship, prior to taking on that director role? Um, so I watched the show when I was a kid, but not, I, I grew up in America, so it was only for a year when I was there, when I was, we, I was in the UK for a year when I was 15, 16, and thought, wow, this is amazing, but didn't sort of, I, I really grew up with Star Trek. Um, it wasn't until the reboot, and when I heard about the reboot, I was like, what, how's this going to work? And knowing how poor so many reboots are, I was really skeptical. And I didn't have an opportunity to watch the season one. Um, I, it was only series two when, with David Tennant when it happened to be in the UK with my children uh, to do Wind in the Willows. And so we were doing the television thing. Right. It came on and it blew my mind, absolutely blew my mind. And I was like, I have to work on this immediately. Um, then went back and watched every episode up until then uh, and became completely obsessed with it. My response was a filmmaker's response as well, which was, okay, here's, an, here's amazing acting, here's amazing um, storylines, but how the hell are they doing these special effects on television? Right. And I had to know, I had to find out, I had to, and I, I had to be involved. And that harkens back to my Nightmare on Elm Street days, when I was like, okay, we did all these incredibly creative, ambitious things on Nightmare on Elm Street, and here I'm seeing the same thing on Doctor Who, except now done to the nth degree, so right. well for television. And with these incredible stories, and with um, wonderful actors, I, I just, I mean, I just, uh, I need to get involved in this. Right. Um, and then, I, so I asked my agent to get me an interview, um, and then I had several interviews, and it took quite a while before I was actually hired, and then I went, oh my god, what if I'm wrong? Like, what if I'm not made for this show? Right. What if I just, you know, <laughs> well, or what if I screwed up? Or what if the, I don't get along? You know, what if Peter Capaldi doesn't like me? Or, or um, but fortunately, it, I, the, my love came through and, and I was fortunate to have these amazing scripts to work on and it's been incredible.